This is Jolie here, four seconds out. Delighted to be joined by Kieran Malloy here on Zoom. I've been doing a couple of Zoom interviews recently. We haven't met in person, but um, yeah, how have you been? Obviously, you just you just spoke to me, say you've been in America, um, but you you're a busy man always. <laughs> yeah, I've always kept busy. Anyways, um, I suppose we're over in America to to fight in New York, and unfortunately that fell through in the last day. But um, yeah, we're back in Loughborough right now and back. Uh, or just start camp for next fight coming up. One and oh, um, but you're already obviously you've got a good amateur background, but you're already experiencing how frustrating it can be when when yeah. you don't get a fight after training a long time in a fight yeah. camp. Yeah, that's it. Look, it's it's just a bump in the road, but it's good to experience these sort of things so early on. Um, hopefully now we'll get a smooth run of things for the rest of the year. But um, look, it's all part of the game, and we're just gonna use it as a learning episode going forward. How, just quickly, how good for the people who don't know was your amateur background? Just a quick recap on that. Um, yeah, I was a very experienced amateur. I had over 220 bouts uh, box all over the world internationally and nationally. So, look, I've got a lot of uh, titles and stuff. I'm just uh, transitioning nicely into the pros now as well. Always had a bit of professional style, so Look, we'll, we'll bring it all with us going into the pro ranks now. Can't complain, always had a pro star, but still did well in the amateurs. Um, yeah. Training out of a uh, gym in Loughborough. Um, who's your current head coach? Uh, Angel Fernandez, my head coach. He's got obviously a lot of good heavyweights, Richie Rappor as well. What's it like working with him, Kieran? Uh, it's very good, yeah. He's got a, a great plan in place for, for all of his fighters, uh, myself. Fraser Clark, Richard Riakpour and Anthony Joshua. So it's a good stable of fighters to train with as well, obviously. Um, all pushing each other on the whole time. The work, work ethic is, is huge in our gym. So, look, it's, it's good. It's a great uh, environment to be surrounded by. And, uh, yeah, thanks to Love for our Sport as well. We, we've got a great gym, so it's all good. Yeah, have you done any work with Robert Garcia? Obviously, as he's over working with Angel as well, I know they, they work well together. Yeah, he's been watching our sparring and stuff and giving us tips and done a bit on the pads with him as well. He's uh, he's great for the inside game and stuff like that. It's Mexican style, so it's, it's good. It's great to learn off him. It's very, he's a very aggressive boxing sort of coach, and that's part of my game as well. So learning all I can off him. And um, yeah, look, and Angel's got great training plans in place for us all. So we're learning every day and moving forward. You haven't been sparring AJ, have you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not full barn yet, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like being in camp with him? Obviously, at Loughborough as well. Oh, it's good. Yeah, he's just he's just like a normal lad as well. You know, in the first few days he was there, I was like, "Geez, that's AJ." But after a while, then it's just just such a normal guy, hard worker, and just wants to win his belts back. I can't wait for for August twentieth. I think he's gonna do the business. Yeah, you've obviously seen him up close and personal. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure if you got to see the, the press conference earlier today, but the face off, um, Eddie Hearn was, you know, trying to put a, a hand in the way yeah. this is done. It was it was pretty fierce, intense. Uh, this is coming yeah. from someone who works in the media. I've seen a lot of face offs, but this one, it means a lot to AJ. Yeah, of course it does, especially after seeing Usyk holding his belts that he had before. You know, it's only more motivation for him. I think we're really going to see the best version of AJ come 20th of August. And He's training so hard as well, and he's, he's leaving everything in the gym. So I'm looking forward to it. How much, obviously, do you think it means to him? We've seen him lose the belts twice now, but to be three-time would be would be fantastic. How much do you feel like it means to him being in and around him? Uh, it means everything to him because this is what he works for, you know? Mm -hmm. It's it's a legacy for him. If, if he wins this fight, he's going to go down for it. Years and years and years as one of the best heavyweights ever. Yeah. Um, look, it's it's great to see him so driven and, and training as well. I wouldn't have known him previously before this, but from what everyone is saying, this is like the old AJ is back, the, the one who was such a, a beast in the ring before. And I'm seeing it firsthand in training. I know he's going to be great come, come fight night. What's it like for you? Forget, forget um, the fight with AJ. Just... For you, like with a good amateur background, you good enough boxer anyway. But being around the heavyweight, two-time heavyweight champion of the world, yeah. 
for anyone that was would be incredible how much is that benefiting you what are the what are the benefits that you're seeing yes yeah, it's, it's it's good man it's like it's not only him it's been with richard rapport yes as well. Fraser Clark, Fraser yeah. Clark. do you know it's every, every one of those lads are such they're, they're world-class fighters um i feel very small in the gym but <laughs> other than that uh it's all good it's all very good but um look like i said we all push each other on there's no egos and uh, we wouldn't be allowed in the door if we had an ego in that gym. But everyone, everyone works extremely hard, and yeah, that's about it. Really, it's it's good. It's good to be surrounded with them. Hundred percent. Just quickly, yeah. would you expect AJ to come out more fierce, more aggressive, go for the stoppage this time around? Um, I I don't. I'm not sure. Like what what's going to happen on the night? But mm. I know he's he's uh, training for for a hard fight. I know he's going out there to win by knockout. Of course. Um, yeah. So, in terms of your career and, and moving forward, do you have, uh, although a fight was just postponed, I guess you could say, like, do you have another date is what I'm getting at? Yeah, I've got a date August 6th in Belfast. Oh, you did mention it. <laughs> yeah, you, you just yeah, mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, so, so you're working towards that now. Um, yeah. What kind of sparring are you getting then? But besides AJ React, poor Fraser Clark. <laughs> um, no, I'm getting loads of sparring. We've got a Jay Allen is um, okay. is working with us as well. He's he's a uh, Fraser's old uh, amateur coach, and he's come in now to help us with sparring partners in the gym. So he's been bringing in loads of different guys. So getting different sparring um, every week, which is good. So yeah, we're not short of sparring partners, thank God. But um, yeah, it's, it's all going good in that that section. So are you kind of? I ask this question for most fighters when they kind of turn over in the first few fights, etc. Two, three yeah. years solid fighting the guys that you you want to get the win against, but more learning. Yeah. Or or are you are you someone who says five fights and then I want titles straight away? I uh, know it's all about that. Uh, progressing you know baby steps for the first two yeah. years or so um it's a it's a i'm 23 so there's no rush It'd be different if i was getting into it at 26 or 7 you know but i think we've got loads of time to work and develop and come four years time that's when i'm three four years that's when i'm looking to be fighting for big titles and now you're obviously in the pro game how different yeah. would you say it is to the amateur game everyone says it's almost like a different sport it is. It's completely different. And although people will tell you when you're an amateur that you've got a professional style, you've still got to slow down a lot of things. Um, more head movement. You have to have more patience as well. You know, there's longer longer fights. Um, but I like it. I'm enjoying the tr transition as well. Um, sitting down a lot more with punches as well. I feel like I'm generating more power. And if you get hit once or twice, it's not the end of the world. Whether as if you're an amateur, you might have to chase the rounds, win it back. So it's just more being patient, and you just learn as you go along. Different sparring partners will bring up different things in you. They might show you some tricks on the inside and stuff. So it's all just about learning, soaking it all up. Definitely, I'm excited to see you fight again, mate. How would you describe your style for the people yet who aren't yet to see you? I'd say I'm a hard hitting, aggressive southpaw. <laughs> That's probably. If if I ask that question, that's probably the best answer. A southpaw, something different, hard hitting. So you're fan friendly, a bit of entertaining. Obviously, without yeah, getting hit too much, but you're fan friendly fighter. <laughs> Definitely, I like to think so. Anyways, but you can all uh, tune in on August sixth, and and you'll see for yourselves. Yes, I won't forget the date now. I've asked you twice, <laughs> but I've got that August sixth penciled in. Obviously, August twentieth. Are you going to Saudi? Uh, I think I'm going to try and go over for the fight. Yeah. Nice little celebration. Yeah. Well, I'll um, look forward to speaking to you again. Maybe fight week before or after your fight. Um, yeah. Best of luck. Obviously, unfortunately, yeah. that your, your last fight couldn't happen. But um, yeah, hope hope everything goes well for you in the build-up to this one. Cheers. Thanks very much. We appreciate it.